Hey everybody, it's Virginia. Today I'm going to share with you a technique on how to make meringue. Now meringue is basically an egg white foam that's been stabilized with sugar. It can be used as a meringue topping for a pie. It can be baked into meringue as in meringue cookies or pavlova. It can be used to bake a cake. It can be used as the structure of a cake. And I have a recent post with an angel food cake as my recipe. So I wanted to share with you the technique on how to make meringue. So meringue starts with egg whites and sugar. So the first thing I have is I have an egg and I'm going to do what's called the three bowl technique. It's very important that your eggs are room temperature when you whip them. And it's also very important that your bowl is perfectly clean, zero fat, and there's no egg yolk in the whites, okay? So the way that we do that is I crack my egg and I crack it again. I crack my egg and then I separate the white and then I put the yolk in a bowl and then I'm able to examine the white Make sure that there's zero yolk, okay? Because the deal is, is if there's any yolk at all in a meringue, it will not whip. So if you're doing one yolk, one white, it's one thing, but if you have an angel food cake where you need 12 whites, the last thing you want to happen is to get a little bit of that yolk in the white on your 12th egg white, right? So here I have, so that's four. All right, so we're good to go. And the excess yolks, you can save, you can make a custard, you can make a creme anglaise, um, lots of different ways to use it. You can use lemon curd, you can freeze them, you can put in the scrambled eggs later, but definitely don't throw those away. You're just throwing away money. All right, and then so now I'm going to add just a pinch of salt, okay? Some recipes call for cream of tartar. You can do it with lots of different ingredients like that, salt, cream of tartar, a little bit of lemon juice, um, but at minimum, you want to use a little bit of salt. And then now I have a handheld mixer, and I wanted to do it in a handheld mixer so that you could really easily see it. You could obviously also do it in a stand mixer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to whip the whites a little bit. We're going to start incorporating air, right, before we start adding the sugar. Sugar is our second major component of making the whites. I want to show this to you. So what we're looking for here is we want whites to be broken up. We also want there to be some large bubbles. And only now can we start adding the sugar. Okay, so this many four egg whites are going to call for approximately a quarter cup of sugar. Um, this is for what's called a French meringue. A French meringue is essentially just egg whites and sugar that are whisked together. The second type of meringue is what's called a Swiss meringue, and that is when the egg whites and sugar are heated and the sugar melts. And then the final and third meringue is what's called an Italian meringue, and that is when a sugar syrup, a hot molten sugar syrup, is whisked into the egg whites. Now that's the most stable but this is the easiest. And this is the one that is used for baked meringues and pavlova, as well as the angel food cake. So I'm going to add in approximately a tablespoon at a time. You don't want to go too fast because the sugar is heavy. It'll collapse your bubbles. All right. So you can see how the egg whites are starting to get glossy and shiny. And I've only added about half of the sugar. So I'm gonna add about another tablespoon of sugar. We're gonna keep going. So egg whites will expand up to seven times their original volume. And what you're looking for are these nice, stiff peaks. All right, so look at that nice, stiff peak. Okay, and then now, Pop this off, set this aside, and this at this point is when you would start adding the flour and the sugar if you're going to make an angel food cake, but I'm also going to show you just another great thing that you can do 
with meringue. So I have an ice cream scoop, I have a Siltat lined baking sheet, and we're just going to do just like that. And I've got these big, beautiful meringues. It's a lovely dessert. It's fat-free. It's not calorie-free, right? It's fat-free because egg whites contain no fat, and we were super careful about adding our egg yolk. So I have my oven preheated to 200 degrees, and we're simply going to put these meringues in the oven. And you can do some fun stuff with it if you wanted to sort of smash them out, make a little some pillows, or bake them, or crumple them a little bit later. But there you go, that's how to make meringue. It's the basis for a baked meringue. It's a basis for pavlova. It's also the basis for an angel food cake. Knowing how to make a meringue is a great technique. For more tips, techniques, and recipes, please visit my website, virginiawillis.com. Bon appetit, y'all!